What's up, guys? Ooh. D here with another Tuesday tip for the 7th of May, 2019. Let you in a little secret. I'm recording this right now on the evening of the 6th of May. But it's Tuesday tips. Sometimes I record them on Mondays. I think a lot of you guys have figured it out by now, especially when I'm outside in the nighttime and post a video on Tuesday in the daytime. So, um, but uh, I want to talk a little about transparency because, you know, like one of the things that I feel that a lot of people aren't doing properly, uh, especially on Instagram and LinkedIn, where people are using professional pages, right? LinkedIn especially is supposed to be like a professional network. Instagram runs the business side of things much more effectively, in my opinion, than, you know, Facebook, even its parent company, or Twitter, or a lot of other uh, social media companies. Um, the thing is, a lot of folks I see out there are doing this thing where they do several things, um, all of which are self-serving or disingenuous. One being always promoting themselves, right? By the way, if you're wondering why I'm blowing bubbles, this is part of the evening time with our animals. Uh, my wife's out back with the dogs doing uh, laser time because our shepherd loves chasing the laser beams for the laser pointer. And I sit here and blow bubbles for the cats, which is what I'm doing right now. It's also just a fun way to relax you know, at the end of a long day. Monday was a kick-ass long day. Tomorrow is going to be a very busy day, which is one of the reasons why I'm recording this thing at 9 o'clock at night. On, uh, on a Monday night before my usual Tuesday tip thing. But back to what I was saying, um, a lot of the stuff that's out there is self-serving, right? You're promoting like, look at this awesome thing I just did, or, you know, I'm the best at this, and I'm the best at that, and blah, 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 blah. Guys, you're looking at a feed with thousands and thousands of posts every hour, right? And if your only intention or your only way of standing out is to be like, look at me, look at me, look at me, and just, you know, billboarding yourself. Uh, most people in 2019 aren't buying into that. It's just not, you know. I don't care how great you are. Because I know a lot of great business folks that aren't always touting themselves. The most successful people I know are trying to build other people up. The other thing I see a lot of is the whole uh, kind of plagiarism where you're just kind of taking like generic meme stuff and adding your own hashtags and blah, 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 or using other people's videos and being like, you know, like retweeting is a big problem. Like one of the biggest things I had with Twitter was uh, people would retweet, right? So it's like kind of trying to pass off somebody else's content as their own. This happens now on Instagram too. It happens on LinkedIn. It's happened on Facebook for 10 years. Uh, you know, it's just one of those things where if you're going to borrow from somebody else's stuff, add to it. There's nothing wrong with being like, hey, I think so-and-so makes a great point, and this is why I believe that. You know, have some kind of conceptual reason as to why you're including that, why you appreciate what so-and-so has done, and especially give effing credit to that person. When you're passing stuff on as your own, that's somebody else's content, Mm, yeah, that's plagiarism, uh, especially in the business world, that can result in lawsuits. And in the online world especially, it can happen. So uh, just some things to think about. The other thing I see a lot of is the, the generic memes. They've got to go. Look, you're putting out stuff like, here's this picture that I've seen a thousand times and you're just adding your own crap to it, right? Like, hashtag blah, 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 blah. Stop with that. You know, you might as well... And this especially goes for the Instagram and LinkedIn communities. You might as well just put up that old poster from like 40-something years ago. Hang in there, kitty. Speaking of which, my kitties are enjoying this. I was hoping one of them would actually jump in the view of the camera, but not so much right now. But yeah, that's my Tuesday tip for you guys. And uh, again, not saying this to be harsh or mean or anything like that. Just like, think before you post. Are you adding value to the people in your network? Or are you just sitting there boasting about what the fuck you do? Simple as that. Hope uh, that gives you guys some help, some insight, and something to think about. 
Till next time, I'll talk to you real soon, but as always, keep shining, my friends.